so good to be here with you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming back tonight. Thank you for all the love. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. I've been singing a lot. I'm coming off of a cold that I picked up for my son. I lost my voice, but thank you for carrying me through. Thank you for bringing all the love. Thank you for lifting me up.
righteousness is clear to you. Freedom fights is rising. We'll take you to stand. children as my youngest son was born. I wrote it for my parents, for my family, for all my loved ones. We have this life to live, and one of the things that's so mysterious about it is that it isn't infinite. And each moment is like a life in and of itself, and when that moment is done, it experiences its own death. And we have these moments. And we like to think that we have a lot left. And we like to think that sometimes we like to feel like we have eternity. But we don't really know. And we're not really promised any more of these moments than just this one that we're in right now. And as we look to the future, sometimes we get really caught up with big plans and we invest our time and we invest all our hope and we invest all our energy in the future in things that may never come to pass. And sometimes we get so hung up on things that we did wrong that we think we did wrong and maybe a wrong turn led us to a place where we're unhappy now and so we dwell on that and we dwell on the past and we forget about being in the moment. And as I was writing this song, a friend uh, called me and his younger sister passed away. And she was just 18 years old. And she had taken some ecstasy at a rave and went into a coma and never woke up. And it reminded me. It reminded me of the beauty of my children. It reminded me of my own mortality. It reminded me that life is a precious gift. And that sometimes, and that sometimes uh, it's strangely and mysteriously cut short for some of our friends, for some of our loved ones. And it's something that we'll never truly understand. It's just something that we have to deal with. It's a part of this mysterious life. But I believe that one of, one of the reasons is that it's a reminder. It's a reminder to us of the preciousness of this moment, the precious nature of this moment that we get to spend together with the ones that we love, with the ones that we cherish most. These are the most perfect moments. Sometimes they can just be as simple as uh, coming to Casanovas and listening to some good music together and dancing together. They don't have to be that important to be truly important. You understand what I mean? Sometimes these moments are lying in our underwear on the living room floor with our children. These are the moments that I think sometimes we'll, that I think that we'll think back at the end of our lives and remember as our most precious moments. And as my grandpa passed out of the world, I thought of how many of these moments he had and what a treasured person he was and how much he treasured his family. And it reminded me, it reminded me to be thankful for life. And I thought about my children, I thought about my parents, I thought about my friends, and it reminded me to be thankful for them, and to let them know how much I love them, how much I care. Because we don't know which moment will be our last. So, let's just be in the moment, and not worry about all of that, and really ex experience this moment to its fullest. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being in the moment with me. I love you. I'm here with you. I'm here with you right now. This is all we have. Let's make it the best. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for healing me.
Thank you.